thanking everybody for coming, um, all of our partners here behind me, as well as the, those of you covering the event. I appreciate uh, your time and attention, so thank you. We asked uh, you all here today to talk a little bit about um, our current crime data and what some of the trends are that we've seen recently, and also about our partnerships, and then a little bit about the formation of our new violent crimes task force for the city of San Bernardino. When you look at our crime data for the last 10 years, the city of San Bernardino has continued to experience historic low levels of crime. For 2011, our overall crime rate saw a reduction of approximately 2%. As we all know, fighting crime in the midst of a recession is a difficult task. When you add on challenges associated with the early release of hundreds of prisoners back into our community, the task becomes even tougher. The San Bernardino Police Department has had some modest success in a few areas while making adjustments to deal with persistent challenges faced with this difficult environment. As we continue to adjust to these challenges, we're refocusing our efforts on violent crime. In addition to the 2% reduction in overall crime for 2011, we also saw a slight decrease in our homicide rate. However, we've seen experiences in a couple of other violent crime categories. Our aggravated assaults and robberies, our armed robberies have increased. Many of these violent assaults have been committed by armed subjects who have extensive criminal records and have been released from prison recently. For example, near the end of 2011, two armed suspects in two separate incidents fired upon different groups of our officers. Both of these suspects had extensive criminal histories and were on supervised release from prison. Another example is one of our recent homicides earlier this month was committed by a suspect with an extensive criminal history who had been released on parole. In response to this changing environment, as far as public safety enforcement goes, we've had to reach out to several of our local and federal and state partners. We've developed a framework for a united effort to focus on violent crime in and around the city of San Bernardino. We are forming the San Bernardino Violent Crimes Task Force, which will concentrate on the identification, apprehension, and prosecution of high-risk repeat offenders who make a living on crime and preying upon those in our community. All of our partners here today have committed resources and expertise so that we can maximize our collective efforts to enhance public safety in and around the city of San Bernardino. The new Violent Crimes Task Force will provide additional resources to focus specifically on removing armed violent offenders from our community. Each of our partner agencies has a particular expertise that they're bringing to the table, and working together with county, state, and federal resources allows us to maximize that expertise for apprehensions and prosecutions. I'd like to thank all of the partner agencies, uh, many of which are here with me today and some of which uh, couldn't make it. And with our federal partners, it's the United States Attorney's Office, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, and the Drug Enforcement Administration. Our state partners, the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation Parole Division, the California Highway Patrol, and of course our county partners, the San Bernardino County District Attorney's Office, the San Bernardino County Sheriff and Coroner's Office, and the San Bernardino County Probation Department. And next, I'd like to introduce our next speaker to you. Um, 